today we're going to use Scratch Junior to code a Christmas greeting. Open up the app, which has got a big picture of a cat on it, and then press the house button to open up the projects window. You might not have anything in here if you've not used it before. Press the plus and that will start a new project. We're going to get rid of the cat today because we want to use some different characters. So if you press on the rectangle that says cat, you'll get a red cross and touch that and it will delete the cat. <coughs> we're going to start by setting our scene. We want a nice Christmassy scene, so we're going to choose from the menu options. Choose the picture at the top of a landscape. This will open up the scenes menu. Today I'm going to choose a winter scene, but you might find one that you think you would like to use for your Christmas greeting. Once you've found the scene that you want to use, press on the blue tick at the top of the screen and it will add it to your project. In Scratch, we add different things to the screen using the buttons at the top and at the sides of the screen. At the top, we can start and add some text, but first we're going to add some characters and some props into our scene. So press on the blue plus and you'll get lots of different options of objects and characters that you can add into the scene. You'll see the cat that we've already deleted. I'm looking for a tree that I can turn into a Christmas tree. Once you've found what you want to use, then select it and press on the blue tick and it will add it to your scene. We call the objects and characters that we add to our scene sprites in Scratch. So once you've got your sprite, you can move it around with your finger to where you'd like it to go. And then we can also edit it to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. So pressing on the paintbrush button on the sprite will open up the edit window. And you can use the tools here, they're much like any kind of drawing app and have a play around and see what each button does and how you can decorate your Christmas tree. I'm going to use the little circle button to add some baubles. And the line drawing to draw some tinsel. Once you're happy, press the blue tick and it will take you back to your project and you'll see all your changes. In the middle of the screen, there's some coloured squares. These are the coding blocks. We're going to use one of the pink coding blocks to make our tree bigger. So if you select the pink coding block, you'll see one of the buttons has a person getting bigger and bigger. If you drag that one into the white space at the bottom for the script and tap on it, then you can make the tree bigger. If you make it too big, you'll see the one for the shrinking and you could touch that instead. The next job is to write a Christmas message. Touch on the ABC buttons at the top and you will be able to type in a very short Christmas message. You can change the colour and you can change the size. Make sure it's not too big so it will fit on. Drag it to where you'd like it to go on your Christmas scene. Our final step is to add a character sprite into our scene. So press the plus and then choose a character from the menu. There are some wintry ones. Um, a penguin and a polar bear, or you could draw your own if you'd like. Once your character has been added to your scene, move it to where you'd like it to start. And we're gonna add a little bit of code for this character sprite so that it will move. We always start off with one of the yellow blocks. These are called triggering blocks. We're gonna use the green flag. So anytime the green flag is pressed, then it will start our code. Next, we'll add in some blue blocks. These are the movement blocks. I want my penguin to move from one side of my scene to another side. I don't know how many squares that will be or how many move he needs. So I'm going to add the grid at the top and I'm going to count how many squares across it needs to go. And I can change the number on the blue square to move it across. You could just try this trial and error. You could try a number, see how it works and then see how you go. Press the green flag to test what you've done. To return your sprite to the beginning, press the arrow next to the green flag and it will reset everything. Final step is to add some sound. So the green button, if you press the microphone, you can record your own sound. Once you've done this, you can drag your recording and add it onto your code. 
And then I always add a red full stop at the end to say that I finished my code. Try it out. Happy Christmas. And you've got your greeting. To share your coding creation, click on the full screen at the top of your Scratch project. And then you can screen record. By dragging down from the top right hand corner, you'll get a menu. And if you press the button, mine's red at the moment because I'm recording, but yours won't be. Press the button to record and then start your project. Happy Christmas! And then if you drag down after you've finished, it will stop recording and save to your photos. Go to your photos app and click the share symbol and you could share to Shobi so people at home can see what you've been doing.